A team of biomedical engineering undergraduates at Johns Hopkins University has invented a low-cost cooling device to prevent brain damage in oxygen-deprived newborns when advanced medical technology is not available. I started this project because it has bigger impact for developing countries especially this disease, oxygen deficiency when the neonates are born, is very common in developing countries. The project started off for me as something that I was doing for a grade for a class. However, by the time that we were done with the class, I had really grown attached to it, not just because I thought it was a cool engineering endeavor, but also because I saw that it really had the potential to make a difference. The device, made of a clay pot, a plastic-lined basket, sand, Instant cold pack powder and a temperature sensor is designed to be as low-tech as possible. It's powered by only two AAA batteries. The purpose of the device is to cool the newborn for three days down to an inner body temperature of 92 degrees. We had to make sure to keep the electronics at a minimum and yet still make it easy to understand for the healthcare practitioner that's going to be using the device in the developing world. Well, potentially it could change the world by uh, reducing the incidence of cerebral palsy uh, in underdeveloped countries by approximately 40%. I think it's an important advance because it puts a cooling device in the hands of people in countries who can't afford the device that we use and means that a baby who has asphyxia could be saved from cerebral palsy. We can actually really cool down the neonates with the equal effect as the current technology available in the United States. And by simply having this device, it can actually change their life and change their future.